Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're in a 2017 Ford Focus. Uh, just doing a little demonstration of the iCarsoft FD version 1.0, which is a um, multi-system scan tool for Ford vehicles. Um, if you are interested in picking up this kit, then just make sure you click the links in the description below this video, uh, because that will take you to the genuine and official products. There are fakes, there are clones on the market, and unfortunately, they can damage your vehicle. So you can see we've got the um, on the left-hand side there. We've got the check engine light and the airbag light and then on the right hand side we've got the ABS warning lights. We're going to use this FD1 version version 1.0 to diagnose these and reset some of the faults. So we'll click into diagnostics, click into Ford. Just takes a second or two to connect then we'll come, just click on to automatic identify. It's a Ford vehicle so it's automatically going to find the vehicle. And then we just go to manual, it's a manual scan. So first of all, the PCM powertrain control module is the engine system, so we'll just click into that. And we'll go to read fault code. We'll just click on the first one here, which says read fault code, retrieve continuous memory DTC. And that's giving us a fault code and a description of the fault. So if you weren't necessarily sure what that means, um, then just copy this information into a Google search engine and that will give you the answer without doubt. If you're getting the fault, somebody else will have received it as well. Uh, then we can go to clear fault memory, assuming you've sort of fixed a fault or repaired a part or changed a part. Generally like a sensor to be honest with you. We go to clear fault memory. Once I click OK here, just keep an eye on the check engine light. And that is gone. And it's exactly the same for the airbag which is the restrained control module so if we're going to read fault code again it's giving us a fault code and a description of the fault go to clear fault memory when I click OK here keep an eye on the airbag light that's gone as well and then we look on the right hand side we look at the ABS system <clears throat> we go to read fault code Again, a fault code and a description of the fault. This one's a little bit different though because we haven't actually, uh, we've unclipped the ABS sensor to generate the fault, um, but we need we haven't put it back in, so it's just to keep the, uh, the ABS warning lights as they are. But assuming that this is the fault that you had, you would obviously go in, read the fault code. Let's say in this case, this was a genuine fault, rear right wheel speed sensor. It would just be a case of changing the rear right ABS sensor and it's as you sit in the vehicle. And then you could come back in, you could then erase the fault codes and those warning lights would disappear. But it does cover a lot of other systems as well within the vehicle. It all really depends on the vehicle that you're in, depending on how many systems it can cover because obviously a lot of, some vehicles have a lot more systems than others. Like newer, newer vehicles will have a lot more systems than the older vehicles. Um, and it will also do your oil service reset as well. So we've got a service, oil service reset and steering angle sensor as well. But as I say, it is available just by clicking the link directly below this video. Make sure to use that link because that is where, that's what will take you to the genuine and official tools. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.